Hello everyone and welcome back to the Frame Channel. The first half of the 20th century experienced significant development in hydropower. with many impassable dams constructed across many major rivers globally. For more than five decades, hydropower has provided a reliable source of electricity to many communities and industries across the globe. It's one of the many forms of sustainable energy production. Taking advantage of the gravitational potential energy stored in water to store energy and then extracting its kinetic energy as electricity. A typical hydroelectric power system uses an enormous dam to store river water in a reservoir in a process known as impoundment. These dams are constructed to maximize the energy collected as the water exits the dam. Several colossal dams operate tirelessly worldwide to ensure consistent electricity generation. These dams are usually built on large rivers with a large elevation difference. The dam holds water behind it, releasing it only through the small intakes near the base of the wall. Water is released from the reservoir via the penstock. These are channels that control the slope of the falling water to maximize the working efficiency of the dam. The moving water from the penstocks drives turbine blades spinning the turbine shaft that leads into the generators that use the powerful rotation to generate electricity. The amount of electricity that can be generated is determined by the depth of the intake under the reservoir's water surface and the rate at which the water flows through the turbines. On a smaller scale, micro-hydropower systems are one of the simplest and most consistent forms of energy that homeowners and small business owners can use to power their property. It takes advantage of the water flowing through a property to generate electricity. These take advantage of the same basic principles of classical large-scale HEP systems to deliver low-cost energy with minimal maintenance. Water escapes hydropower systems into downstream areas through spillways. A spillway is an important structure in the hydroelectric system that controls excess water in the dam. The spillway maintains reservoir water levels and prevents flooding or uncontrolled overflow. At maximum capacity, the water level behind a dam will be equal to the height of the spillway. And as soon as more water enters the reservoir, the excess water will be drained by the spillway. Thus, the spillway draws water from the top of the reservoir to protect several other hydroelectric facilities from damage. Spillways are usually controlled with gates to pass flood water safely from the dam. These massive dams are usually constructed with roller-compacted concrete technology also known as RCC. A technique used frequently in the construction and maintenance of dams. RCC is used where enormous volumes of concrete are required. It contains fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, cement, and water and differs from normal concrete for its lack of reinforcements in carrying the loads applied to the structure. The RCC technique cuts construction time by over a half, 
and construction costs by up to 30%. It is a labor-intensive process that runs 24-7 throughout the entire construction period. There's a standby crusher plant that crushes several metric tons of boulders daily to produce the aggregate needed. The use of fly ash increases the homogeneity, stability, and impermeability of the dam with low heat of hydration, and this fly ash can be sourced from thermal power plants. The concrete is mixed constantly in a batching and mixing plant, and the temperature of the concrete can be controlled with the use of an ice and chilling plant. RCC is a landmark in the evolution of dam construction. In the early 20th century, the dam construction process was a very tedious, labor-intensive technique, demanding almost exclusively manual labor. For instance, planning the Boulder Dam in the 1930s took several years of research, organization, and design. More than 5,000 laborers were required to work continuously to move debris, drill holes for explosives, and level the foundation, while massive concrete blocks were fitted into place to construct the dam itself. These massive structures require frequent scheduled maintenance and repair. And employ elaborate diving operations using divers to perform underwater repairs. Divers will inspect and repair valves, hydroelectric components, spill gates, and controls. In addition, divers will also repair Emergency Reservoir Drawdown Systems ERDS, and maintain the drainage systems that help to flush sediment buildups behind the dam. Hydropower maintains a significant status with a different range of purposes, including agricultural and recreational activities. In 2021, the global hydropower generation market was valued at $219.4 billion. And this industry is expected to grow because of technological advancements Hydropower is a vital, dependable, and renewable source of clean energy with a rich history that's meeting today's significant energy demands. With new technologies enhancing their efficiency and reducing the cost of maintenance, hydroelectric power will power homes and businesses for centuries to come. That's the end of this feature on the frame. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in our next video.